Hey guys, welcome to another video of IGCAC Biology Revision. Today we're going to be covering uh, the nutrient cycles, which is basically we're finishing off the topic of organisms and their environment. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we have three main cycles that we have to look at, the carbon cycle, the water cycle, and the nitrogen cycle. The carbon cycle is actually pretty easy. So, you know, we, we understand that there's carbon dioxide in the air. So why is it in the air? Well, we when we combust fossil fuels, we release carbon dioxide into the air, and that's one major source of it in the atmosphere. Um, as you already know as well, organisms will respire, and when organisms respire, as the equation would suggest, it also releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Now, the carbon dioxide is absorbed by plants to photosynthesize, okay? And basically, the carbon dioxide that is used, the carbon inside the carbon dioxide gets transferred and transformed into chemical energy, um, whereby the carbon exists in you know, nutrients like proteins, carbohydrates, and things like that. So when animals, therefore, eat their plants, they're actually attaining the carbon, and so the carbon gets cycled through, right? Uh, again, when animals die, they decompose, and decomposition of matter will also release carbon dioxide into the air, so that's a full cycle of how carbon moves around from one thing to the other. The water cycle is actually pretty simple as well, so let's take a look at rain, right? Rain, a fancy word for rain is precipitation. So the rain will fall down and will make its way to the soil. From there, it can make its way inside plants, and the water is uh, let go. Uh, the water is released through transpiration back into the air. Uh, we also have something called percolation, which is basically when the water seeps into the soil like so and makes its way back into a lake, river, sea, or whatever it may be. And from there, it evaporates back into the atmosphere, and uh, you know it condenses to form clouds. And when there's too much humidity and too much water, then we get precipitation. So that's one full cycle there. So the carb, uh, sorry, the the nitrogen cycle is a little bit more complex. So let's take a look at nitrogen gas that's in the atmosphere. The really important thing that you have to understand here is that nitrogen gas alone is very unreactive. Plants cannot just simply absorb nitrogen gas to make nitrogen compounds because it's simply unreactive. So we what what the plants do is absorb nitrogen in the form of, you know, nitrates or other nitrogen compounds that are more reactive, reactive enough for the plants to use, right? So the important distinction being nitrogen gas is in the atmosphere, but in the soil you have nitrogen compounds. So what happens for the nitrogen gas to become nitrogen compounds to begin with? Let's take a look. We have lightning, right? When you, when you have the lightning, there's a huge amount of energy there. So what happens is the nitrogen ends up reacting with the oxygen in the air to form nitrogen oxides. Okay, so nitrogen oxide is a type of a nitrogen compound that the plants can directly absorb and use uh, at their will. We also have uh, fertilizers that we make, you know, humans make to put into the soil, and the fertilizers will contain, you know, nitrogen compounds again uh, to, to allow the plants to absorb and use as well. Uh, some other natural methods would be nitrogen fixing bacteria. So what the nitrogen fixing bacteria is, is that it converts the nitrogen gas in the air into ammonium compounds. Okay, so the ammonium compounds are just sitting in the soil and what the nitrifying bacteria will do is actually convert the ammonium compounds, which actually contain nitrogen as well, and convert that into nitrates. And the nitrates are what uh, gets absorbed by the plants to be used. Okay, so the plants will then get uh, eaten by animals again, so the nitrogen will actually be uh, transferred to the, the, the animal that eats it. And when the animals die, the nitrates or the nitrogen you know, compounds and things like that will end up back into the soil. Now, there's something called denitrifying bacteria. So what denitrifying bacteria is, is it basically converts nitrogen compounds in the soil and makes it into nitrogen gas, releasing nitrogen gas or nitrogen back into the atmosphere. So it sort of basically does the opposite of what a nitrogen-fixing bacteria would do. 
So, you know, this can be slightly confusing, but just understand that the nitrogen fixing bacteria will convert the nitrogen gas into ammonium compounds, and the nitrifying bacteria will then convert the ammonium compounds into nitrates that the uh, plants can use. And the denitrifying bacteria will convert uh, nitrogen compounds into nitrogen gas, releasing it back into the atmosphere. Right, so uh, that is it for today guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. You'll be getting more videos like these soon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.